Hello and welcome to OER Wales Cymru. My name is Debbie Baff and I am the project manager for the OER Wales Cymru project. This is a short five minute video to show you our student survival SMOOC that we've created in order to help give students the life skills that they will need when they start university. Students need to create an account to access the course but it's quite quick and easy. And this is an account that I'm using uh, as a student so that you can see what they see including the open digital badges which appear on the side um, once the students achieve them and you can also see the Twitter feed and various course messages. So the course runs in English and in Welsh using this language switch at the top of the page so students can select Welsh and everything translates for them. This is uh, being proved proven to be quite popular with our pilot group um, because they quite like the ease of which the language pack was working. Okay. So the first part of the course is um, the introduction and it explains a little bit about the course and what students can hope to uh, get out of it and what their of course expectations are and um, it also helps them uh, how to navigate the course and um, it also outlines some key terms that might be unfamiliar like open digital badges or SMOOC or Creative Commons for example. Okay, so I've just got back up. We've obviously put in links to um, each of the universities because it's a Pan Wales uh, project. Um, and in this introductory section, we've also got the terms and conditions that students need to complete before they actually start the course. So moving on to week one, that's more of a gentle introduction that covers topics like uh, what students need to bring with them. Uh, we've got some really nice videos that students have produced and also universities have produced uh, to welcome students to university. Um, we give some um, information about um, the sorts of things that they're actually going to need to bring with them and um, some quick uh, FAQs that students can answer as well. Um, it also gives other helpful bits of information like accommodation and food and, um, and the like. Um, and then once students have done uh, week one, then they will receive the participation badge for taking part. Um, so looking at weeks two and week three now, they're in a bit more depth and cover topics like enrolment and registration, money, joining the students union um, and things like getting part time job. Um, it, so it, it does give it in a bit more information you know, of what students can expect to actually do. And the course itself um, also um, includes several discussion forums um, and these um, help to engage the students in, um, in creative peer-to-peer -peer network. Um, and you can see here some of the comments that our pilot students have made and um, th this, this was proven quite popular as well so that they can have a bit of support um, and you know a sort of peer-to-peer -peer support network. Uh, there's a short feedback quiz at the end of week two um, which leads straight into week three. Now week three itself is a bit more reflective in nature and um, encourages the students to think about how they might be feeling. Um, now it's the same sort of format um, and obviously there's, a, there's an activity at the end of week three um, and then that leads into week four, uh, the last section of the course. Um, and that, that gives a, a sort of recap of everything that the students have covered in the course and it specifically looks at attitudes and behaviours uh, that universities will expect from students and it puts these into the context of studying and generally sort of being organised and prepared. Um, and then finally we've got the activity badge that students complete um, and that gives them their badge which they can um, set up a Mozilla backpack and um, in true fashion here's one I prepared earlier. This is my Mozilla collection. Um, and as you can see, I'm a bit of a, a badge addict. Um, so, um, you know, this is how students can, can do it. They can display it on whatever platform they want. It can be attached to LinkedIn or a blog. Um, and that's the, the activity shown. OK, so um, that brings us to the end of this very, very quick run through. I hope it's been helpful. So thank you for watching. OK, bye bye.